coming at you with raid fight number seven steelix this fight is a bit different from the other ones that we've had uh it makes it easier if you're paying attention or you're just following a simple strategy the main thing that you're going to run into is uh steelix has massive defenses and i will be reflecting because my counterpart sable eye is willow wisping uh, has massive defenses and all, most of the strategies I've put out so far have relied on like Metagross or EQ Pokemon. You're going to want to ditch them entirely. Uh, if you have a gym rerun team, you've got some hard hitting special attackers ready to go and I would just use those. Uh, I am not carrying the gym rerun team just to test this out, but um, if you have a Typhlosion or two or two Blastoises, they would work just great. You're going to hit close to damage cap and Steelix will just melt from the special attacks on the flip side if you try and use physical attacks what you're going to have happen is uh you will not do as much damage as you could and you're going to start to get chipped down by the stealth rocks that are set up and hopefully my stable eye goes down here you will you'll get chipped down by the stealth rocks and then uh it has uh dragon tail dragon tail will proc if your average damage is above is around five percent per pokemon um, so I think I'm just gonna direct swap here. Or Thunder Wave. I'm gonna Thunder Wave this Viper. Um that's probably a bad move. Or I guess we're going rain for this. Okay. <laughs> so you you kind of have two options really, because you could set sun or you could set rain, and it kind of screws over whoever picks the other option. So it's a little bit of a kind of get lucky with the people that you queue with um if you get two people setting up rain like in this case this works super well for me because i just picked up four kingra kingdras on the gtl for about three or four k a pop i put surf on all of them and they also come with brine which will be an interesting move later once the bosses blow hp that turns into a 130 base power stab water move that is special um and can't miss so that's pretty pretty big uh we like that um dragon tail really is is kind of the top line story so any kind of setup Pokemon just gets swapped out uh, when automatically on those intervals. So you really just want a party full of hard hitters. And uh, once you've got that rain set up or the sun set up, I believe that Typhlosion and Blastoise Water Spout will still max damage without weather. But um, yeah, I, I just picked up these Kingdras. Really, any any special attacker is going to do you very, very well. Interesting uh, play by the Rotom here to take out the ad instead of just going for the boss. But what are you going to do? um we have pelipper using surf let's check some damage caps here that's six percent from pelipper by itself so if you can snag a, a pelipper at, at for a cheap price and get it up to level 60 level 65 that's gonna be doing enough damage as it is you could just be you could probably bring a few pelipers if you wanted to someone so we had the exact same idea rain team it is okay so uh luckily me and my teammate here ended up being on the same page hopefully our Right, yeah, and so we, I think we hit that, yeah, we hit the 75% mark, so that's the auto dragon tail. Unfortunate that my attack didn't go off. Um, that's just going to happen sometimes. Um, the, hopefully, uh, this Infernape has a fighting move uh, and knows to use it. That'll be big. Um, yeah, so if, if you're able to kind of get around rain, like even if you were in sun, you could be using dragon, oh no, you can't be using dragon pulse, I lied. Uh, that's not going to work on steel um so uh probably i don't know what would be worse you're just kind of screwed essentially if you, you, the other team is setting weather one way or the other so um but yeah the big thing is just having a party full of special hard hitting special attackers mine are all choice banded you could easily go charcoal if you're uh you, you know you're going with a flamethrower uh pokemon of some sort you could go mystic water in the case of the kingdras if you've got your gym rerun team and you've got choice specs that's the way to go i just have specs on all of mine because i have them to go around um my my surf uh is only doing 6.2 percent i'm not ev trained i literally just bought these off the gtl they're not they're like dog ivs evs so as long as you're doing like close to that damage cap you'll probably be okay uh but yeah long story short is just burn down the boss as fast as possible don't stick around for stuff um so you have the two dragon tails it does it, its move set is eq eq iron head um i believe it has stone edge i thought there was a i think there's rock coverage um and then dragon tail is that automatic move so um 
again, only proccing at uh, if your average damage is above four percent. I think is the the uh, it's rock slide, not um, stone edge. So that's the coverage you're looking at. That water, I think, is you know rain teams are slightly better just because uh, it will spam EQ. Um, just so you're you're it's it's not you know spamming super effective EQs into your fire Pokemon. Uh, slightly better just to go water, I'd say. Um, probably easier overall to find hard hitting special attackers. You can just teach Surf to. Um, in this case, Pelipper is one. Kingdra is super cheap. Um, there, there's probably a bunch. I think you can just you know pull out what you have in your box and get it up to sixty. It might even be EV trained already. Um, and then f finally, you have the ability suppression. So um, can't set rain anymore via Drizzle. If that's a point of consideration, um, I definitely tried to set rain even though uh you i was not able to anymore so don't do that don't i learned from my mistakes um so ultimately this is just kind of like a as, as close as we've seen to a damage check boss so if you're just pumping damage you're going to beat this easily uh if you try to get cute with support pokemon and other things you're just going to be getting knocked out everything's going to be taking damage from the dragon tail uh it, it's just a frustrating experience just you know burn them that's all you got to do run the boss down um very easy for the vast majority of the player base that's been playing for a long time newer players yeah you'll just have a little bit of a challenge trying to figure out what pokemon to grab um especially if you're in a time crunch towards the end of event um and you might be getting unlucky with teammates uh i should have used brine there um do as i say not as i do uh but brine also just kind of an interesting pve move going forward uh very niche use case in a lot of cases where you, you're not seeing a lot of Pokemon that are below half health, or it's it's just such a narrow window, I'd say, in PvP. But when you know half of a fight is spent here, you know we're talking multiple multiple turns uh, where you can click Brine. You that would probably have been damage cap had I done it. So uh, going from 130 uh, 130 base power uh, going instead of the 90 base power of Surf, I believe. Yes, so 90 that one would then go 130. Can't check now because the boss is dead, but this should be an easy solo queue as long as you get a couple people that are just running down the boss with special attackers. It's, it might be the sort of thing as the, the event goes on, there are less people with capable Pokemon to to take care of it, but uh, you can definitely carry most of the fight. Set screen, set wisp. Uh, honestly, you, I, I might bite my tongue saying this, but you could probably get away with not even doing either and just immediately burning the boss down. So, uh, yeah, headline is special attackers try and cap damage and really focus on hard hitting stuff. Don't don't even attempt to do any sort of setup sweepers. Not worth it. Uh, and that should do it. So good luck out there. Um, I am putting out a, a smaller guide, just a couple of Pokemon for new players that are super cheap to sort of get a, a team together. And uh, that'll be in the description. And if you have any other questions from the comments, join Petrowski's Discord for teams and other things like I've always recommended. And have a good one. Enjoy the rest of the events.